Now, Central Oregon's local alert weather with Chief Meteorologist John Carroll. That was a nice mild day today. Plenty of sunshine. A lot of the snow was sinking into the soil, which is what we like to see here. As we look now at our road conditions, it's also been drying out on the roadways. The friction from the tires and winds from the cars going across have dried out uh, all of our road conditions here in our city camps. Prineville, Lapine, Sisters, everything's looking very nice compared to where we've been. Now Century Drive, Mount Bachelor, well, there is wet roadways there, of course, but that is the mountain passes we talked about those earlier uh, they at nighttime do present some problems as they do get much colder uh, in the higher elevated locations and here's a view from Aubrey Butte there's a pretty good looking sky there you can see the downtown area there as we look at the partly cloudy scenario going on so here's our weather headlines for you uh, we do have the wintry mix that's going to return tonight after the midnight hour then it'll be rainy after so the wintry mix is only going to be problematic on Unfortunately, for the morning commute. So we're going to see that, and then Friday and Saturday will be rainy, and then we're going to warm up on Sunday. So here are the high temperatures for the day today through the region. Well, that's a nice one there in Bend, 46, got to 50 in Redmond, 51 in the uh, Warm Springs area, 47 in Sisters, and could only muster a 37 in Sun River. Uh, currently, we have a wind from the southwest at 10 miles an hour at Bend, 9 miles an hour in Redmond, and you can see the temperatures a little bit milder there in Redmond, 47, and it's 43. Uh, in Bend. And here's a look at the numbers around the 97 Carter as well as the Prineville and Sisters area. Uh, everybody seems to be checking in in the 30s and 40s, but we're still hanging on to that 51 up in uh, the Warm Springs area. We'll drop down to below freezing everywhere for a period of time that may, when we have the precipitation time out correctly, which I do believe it will, we could see some freezing rain, which is that ice that accumulates on roadways and on trees and power lines. And I'll get to that in a second. But here's a look at the high temps for tomorrow. We'll be in the 30s and 40s. So not a big warm up until we get to the weekend. There's a perpetual flow of cloud cover coming our way. Today is what I refer to as the setup day, as we will be seeing this steady flow of moisture as the rain will persist throughout the Friday time frame. Future track times it out, getting here by about 2 o'clock in the morning with rain north of Lava Butte, but you can see this purple color also in through and around uh, the Sisters area there on 20. That may be the freezing rain. It'll change over to all rain as we get into the noon time frame, and that rain will persist off and on through the day Saturday, allowing for some minor flooding uh, on area roadways. But here's the bigger concern, the future freezing rain. Generally, uh, it, it's less than a tenth of an inch, but when you get any freezing rain, that is a problem. Uh, rainfall amounts will be about a third of an inch. So as we look at our seven-day outlook, we're going to get to 53 degrees on Saturday, 56 with variably cloudy skies on Sunday, some passing showers late in or the middle of next week. That's a look at your local alert weather.